What do you guys think about this money? Yeah. The monument is located in West Potomac Park between the Tidal Basin and the Potomac River. The history of the monument is also very interesting. Originally, FDR only wanted a plaque as a memorial. You can see it in front of the archives today. While this is what he wanted, the people believe that FDR deserves something better than just a simple plaque. The designers of the monument, however, did agree to not show FDR in a wheelchair. This started some controversy because it, it made people believe that being disabled was something to be ashamed of. The monument is easily accessible for both people walking and handicapped individuals. By walking through the space, the viewer experiences each of FDR's four terms. The monument is highly respected by people of the community and well enjoyed by people across the country. Many of the people we talked to praised the monument as serene and an escape from the mayhem of other monuments. The large open space is divided into four sections, each representing one of FDR's terms. Each room has a waterfall or reflecting pool and quotes or sculptures representing FDR's relationship with the American people. This creates a quiet and peaceful environment and allows the viewer to reflect and appreciate what the monument memorializes. The presence of nature and peacefulness of the monument makes it a sacred place and accomplishes its goal in honoring FDR. As you walk through the monument, the fountains become more complex with more elements added representing President Roosevelt's four terms. The memorial has quotes directly from FDR which appeal to ethos by making the monument genuine. The emotional appeal on the monument is calming because of the serene landscape and soothing fountains. The monument appeals to logos by allowing the viewer to walk through FDR's presidency in chronological order. represents the president? Well, I'm not sure. I think so, except for the statue. Those are the statues. They make him look sort of tired. And he was, he was the original happy warrior, as yes. people called him. And, you know, you've seen his signature photo for that, where he's grinning. Mm -hmm. He's got a cigarette holder clenching his teeth. Yep. I think that would be more absolute growth than I would prefer to think of. What do I know about him? I know that he served four terms. I know that he was handicapped. I really love the water. 
I like what it shows. I think it shows um, what he provided during his term as president. The monument remains effective today, and it has only become more effective over the years. The legacy of FDR has not drastically changed, and this is reflected in his monument. The FDR memorial has quotes from FDR during his presidency. The quotes, like the monument, are in chronological order. The text highlights FDR's opinions and changes he pushed for during each term. All the text is engraved in bold capital letters on stone. This makes them more firm and powerful and give the visitor a feel of how direct and confident FDR was from the beginning of his presidency up until his death. These quotes are the only form of written text in the memorial besides a written timeline. This signifies how much influence his words had on America. For every visual element, there is a quote to accompany. During the first term, the statue of the people walking are paired with a quote of FDR's plans. In the second term, the braille writing symbolizes and represents the people so disabled, unable to speak up and out in parallel with the sunken pillars with people on them. In the third term, the I hate war blocks show how war separates the country and shows what it is composed of, which is why the blocks are made of the same material as the stone building the memorial.